Hi everyone. Today I would like to share with you how you can compare two tables using DAX in Power BI. Let's assume uh, you've got an um, original table that has been given to you and then later on someone has provided to you the updated version of that table, table B, uh, and it's been updated. And then later on they said uh, here's another version after a third update and that's becoming table C. So by looking at these tables, I can see that they all have 700 rows. Um, so they look like they're the same. So they have exactly the same columns, um, but I don't know where the change has been made. So I need to know where the change has been made. So I can make that comparison by using uh, some DAX functions. Uh, let's have a look how we can do it. So first of all, I wanna compare table A with a table B. By the way, we are doing this comparison by creating calculated table using DAX. And to do that, I'm gonna write accept function. And that function returns the rows of the left side table, which do not appear in the right side table. Please be aware that you need to have exactly the same number of columns and the columns need to be the same names, exactly. So let's use our first table A as a left table. And we're gonna compare that with a table B. Okay. We have done this and straight away we can see these are the rows that do not appear in table B. So these are the unique rows in table A that we do not see in table B. However, we need to do the other comparison as well. We need to see if in table B there have been any new rows added because this comparison that we are doing right now we are only checking table A and its rows. However, we need to do the same for table B. So first I will move this to a variable where I'm saying um, rows not in table B. And now I will write another one is rows not in table A. And again, we're gonna use accept function and we just swap table A with table B. So table B, table A, write return and then we're gonna return rows not in table A. Okay, and again, so there are four rows that are not present in table A, but present only in table B. Okay, so, and in order to find out the, all the rows that are not present in each other tables, we can use function called union. And union, it returns the union of two tables whose columns match. So again, you need to have exactly the same column names and the number of columns exactly the same as well. So we're gonna combine the result of first variable and the second variable together. So, and because there were, there were four unique rows in uh, first variable, and four unique rows in a second variable. We've got a total union uh, of uh, eight rows, to be precise. And yeah, these are the unique rows that, uh, that are present only in either table A or table B. And then from here on, I can start already investigating and finding, okay, what are, what are those rows and go into each table and find them. Okay, so that's um, the comparison that you can perform by using um, 
two functions, accept and union. Here is comparison of table A with table C. And in this case, I have got zero rows returned from a union of uh, two variables when I'm comparing table A with table C. And um, that means that both tables are identical. So all the rows of each table are the same. So there was no change between table A and table C. So here it is. Uh, what do you guys think? Is that useful for you? Uh, do you want to know more uh, about uh, DEX functions? Let me know down in the comment section.